hope you're having a fabulous start to the weekend and welcome to The Breakfast Week. We have taken some bits and pieces from our programs from Monday through to yesterday and put them together for you. Last night, the Australasian Branded Entertainment Awards were held in Sydney. They're organised by Mumbrella, the editor of Mumbrella and advertising guru Tim Burrows joins us now. How are you, Tim? Good morning, Paul. I'm well. Great to have you along. For people that don't know, branded entertainment is what? Yeah, this is the thing that people have just started talking about within the advertising industry over the last couple of years. To a certain extent, it's always been around, but it's the idea that if brands pay to create something that's interesting enough and entertaining enough, then people will watch it without even realising they're watching a form of advertising. Yeah, so they're buying into something without knowing it. They are, yes, and it's, it's, things, it's often things that go beyond just a 30-second ad. So. All right, Tim, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's a shame that that uh, campaign that Mumbrella ran to say breakfast wasn't successful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. It's not too late. It is. Yeah. It is too late. We should be sending Lorsa to um, Israel to sort out the issue there, not Ban Ki Moon. Do you like the idea of a personal trainer but don't like the idea of shelling out 80 bucks per session? Well, this, this next gadget is for you. It's the Nike Connect trainer? Yes. Is that personal it? Trainer, yeah. Personal trainer. And uh, Nick Gulliver has the lowdown on all of this. Nick, how does it work? Okay, so this is a new system by uh, Xbox and basically what happens is it spends about 40 minutes just kind of working out, you know, what your fitness level is, how you move, how you kind of bend and all that kind of stuff. And then put There you go. There, there you have it. One way to keep fit this summer. Here's another first world problem, and it's and it's striking in orange. Aww. The children of orange may not have a Santa's knee to sit on. And for the children watching now, these are not the real, these are Santa's helpers. Yep. So anyway, the company that employs Santa's helpers, you know, people dressed as Santa's, um, to sit in supermarkets and, you know, malls and department stores and that, they can't find one in orange. That's really sad. Apparently they're struggling I... this year to find them at all. Across, uh, across the board, mm. yeah. No, that's really, I, I did my, uh, I started as a cadet journalist out in Orange and it's, yep. a, it's a beautiful town. I, I was going to say it's a small town, it's not anymore. Mm. You know, it's a, it's a great thriving um, town and it, they need a Santa there, you know. You've got to look forward to these sorts of things. The shopping centre's not that big in Orange. As it happens, I may have some free time coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I don't reckon many parents would let their children sit on your lap. Well, and that's the issue. Because I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit bulky. I could bulk up a bit, you, but I'm, I'm a little a bit bulky. You'd need a pillow. Only a small one, to no. be honest. Um, and I could... I, I, but would I, have I got the right temperament? Uh, <laughs> possibly not patient enough. Come on, hop up, on the, hop up on the... I'll just get away from Back me. of the line. Yeah. <laughs> Back of the line, you. I saw what you were doing. Well, what do you want from Santa this year? And he does something wrong to you. You're not getting it. This child soiled itself. Yes. Oh. Um, I, I won't be. No, take it away. Take it away. Have you got enough children, do you think, madam? Or are you pregnant now? Um, no, I don't think I should be a Santa. Possibly not. No. Because um, I, I think you are a little bit misunderstood because there is a little bit of nice inside you. There is a little bit of nice inside, inside, nice inside, inside there. there. Since I told you the story this morning about the uh, lack of Santa's helpers, particularly in orange and suggested that I had a bit of time on my hands maybe a career a career move is uh, imminent um, the graphics department Carla uh, has has uh, she's met the challenge there oh we are my what do you reckon yeah. <laughs> look at that little boy look at that little kid two seconds later he runs off screaming he's going oh is that mr. Henry from that once very popular breakfast show that's very I believe funny. it is <laughs> that's very funny. I do look a bit menacing, don't I? A little bit. You wouldn't have much of a queue of youngsters if you look like that. No. Anyway, you can just have it in the background of a shot. You don't even need to talk about it. Uh, it, it could, you could mention the word or all sorts of fun things. Go the less is more approach. Can I ask you, as, as a budding filmmaker, um, how important is Tropfest to support our up-and-comers? It is just the most vital festival you can think of in terms of up-and-coming filmmakers. It, it gives a voice to, to anyone. Anyone really can enter. There was a 16-year-old girl in the finals with us, with all of us adults last year. It's, that's the beauty of this festival. Um, if you think you don't have a chance, get that out of your mind because you really do have a chance to get involved and have your film seen by millions of people. It's mm. amazing. John Paulson, quite a visionary there, wasn't he? Um, Alethea Jones, yeah. thank you very much for your time. All the best. We want to hear from you when those big names can be announced. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Alethea, it's Paul Henry here. When will that be? Hi, when Paul. will you be able to announce them? Stop it. Oh, Paul, um, Next I'm week? really not sure. 
Not next week, but, but maybe in about a month, maybe in two a, months or maybe a month. Maybe late for us. Next Friday? Maybe on Friday? Maybe really late Friday, like 8.20 yeah. in the morning? Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you can make some calls and help lock those names in, I, I will announce them. And if you've got any gaps, I'm your man. <laughs> Just if there's any gaps oh, in the thank schedule. You so no worries, no worries. You will not regret this meeting. Um, Alethea, thank I you, and congratulations. Glittering career ahead. Now, the other thing I would say... Point? Well, the other point, and I think you know where I'm going to go Stop. with this. Stop. I just don't think you should go there. She has just helped to broker a peace deal in the Middle East. Well, why and can't she do her hair? Yeah. Because she's, she's been too busy, too busy dealing with what's going on Is there, there anyone else in that room who didn't do their hair before they attended this conference? She brushed it. It's just not as fancy as what Tash Mags or mine might look because we've had someone professional do it. I know you think this is, a, right. this is a, a small thing, but this is a woman who can look very, actually quite pretty for her age. She Fabulous. can look quite pretty. She is also a woman who is surrounded by makeup artists, and yet for some reason she shuns their attention. I'm not sure. And it looks appalling. I'm it not... looks like she's been dragged through a vat of of. of I'm um, not sure. If while she was meeting the Egyptian foreign minister, um, that she that was really forefront of her mind. I think maybe she thought, let's get down to business, get this sorted, so lives are going to stop being lost. I like Hillary Clinton. I, I like Hillary Clinton. Let's give um, her credit where credit's due. And I think as a, as, as, as a foreign minister, as uh, what's her name, I think, I think she's, she's doing an okay job. I mean, she isn't a Madeleine Albright, that's for sure, but she's doing an okay job, but she could also surely take out five minutes of a day. W wouldn't even take five minutes to improve that hairstyle, would Before it? we go to anyway. Max, let us know your thoughts on the Henry hotline. Does Paul have a valid point? Yeah, morning, Paul. As usual, you're spot on. As soon as I've seen those images of Hillary, I thought, what's going on with the wig, Hillary? I've got a theory. A wig would be an improvement. Hold the theory. We'll have the theory in just a moment. Here's another. My comment is, I can't believe you're talking about uh, haircuts and uh, styling for public appearance when there's so much uh, going on in the world in regard to war, etc. Gaza, the inane topics that you choose to talk about are um, frankly disgraceful. Yep, mm. you're one of my peeps. Thank frankly you. Frankly disgraceful. Um, I, would, I would say this though, I mean if you take your comment to its logical conclusion, all we would talk about would be people dying in conflict. That would be all we would talk about, you know, whereas life is part of a rich tapestry and there are many other things that occupy people's minds. Here's another one. With regards to Hillary Clinton, I agree with you. She looks like she came over from America on a biplane. Thank you. OK, so my theory is, as I said, she made an announcement about her hair with CNN a few years ago saying, you know, it's just not important anymore. I think the longer and longer she goes without putting as much effort into her hair, the less we're going to talk about it. However, it is just going to be a very long road to travel, it mm. seems, because people like you on the Henry Hotline who's been calling in has called in on it and you with your thoughts. Mm. Nice. <laughs> That is fantastic. OK, very quickly, storage. We put it back in the bag when we've cut it? Put it back in the bag, that's correct. And it will last up to three weeks, and you can also freeze it. All right. And that... our book also mm -hmm. has really great leftovers for Boxing Day, so what to do with oh, Christmas how cool is that? Christmas leftovers. All right, so it's all in this book here, or you can go to our website and find the link to make your very own glazed ham. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a fabulous remainder of your weekend. Yeah, have a great, uh, have a great weekend. As always, we are ending with a little small sample of some of the funnier moments from the week. Here we go. This would be you. Stop look at it. me. No, look at me. Look this at me. is you. Look oh at me. my! Oh my! Were you flirting then, Mel? No, Mel no oh. wouldn't do that. Why? I wouldn't. Look, the guy next to him not even looking at him. <laughs> Augusta, Augusta. So I'm working out the whole way. Oh, as you can see, like I'm a pretty fit guy. You are a fit guy. We know that. We know. We know Nick is very fit. Oh, look, there's Jono with his little pig. Yeah, they do say, don't they, that owners start to look like their pig. There are a lot of people that hunt out women with hairy underarms. There was one particular trip that I took. Maybe oh, no, another no, time. Yeah. Maybe another time. Don't look. Don't look. Is okay. it just me, mm. or does Chris look like a young Bruce Willis? Got Bruce Willis wouldn't smile like that. Well, I was going to say, he's got really... a better smile. Oh, Rosie Beetson. <laughs> Beetson. <laughs> Beetson. <laughs> I mean, don't talk. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.